A lot of people have been asking me to make another video, so I thought I would do one today on some new silver that I acquired. It's from the Lydian Mint, but I bought it off a guy on Bullion Stacker. I'll post a link down below to both websites. It's the Lydian Lion. Got the lion on the front, dated 2011. And on the back it says 1 Troy ounce, .999 fine silver. And I thought the paw print was pretty neat. Something different. I picked up 18 of these. I'll show you the tube of them. I only took a couple of them out of the tube so I could show you. The rest of them won't leave in the tube. But the reason I bought these, well, I thought they were neat and I got a good price on them. And a lot of people ask me, you know, why don't you buy the American Eagles, Canadian Maples, you know, whatever government issue rounds they might like. Well, the reason is, I. If I would buy $10,000 worth of silver, and you would buy $10,000 worth of silver, and it comes a day where we need to cash in, I'm going to make more profit than you are, because I bought the generic stuff at a cheaper price, so I accumulated more ounce weight than you did with the Silver Eagles, Canadian Maples, what have you. So I was never a big fan of the government issue stuff. I just think it's too overpriced. And in the end game, silver is silver. You're just going to buy it. And when the day comes, you're going to rake it into a box, send it off to whoever's the will give you the most money for it, and be done with it. So I would rather have a lot more ounce weight than I would having just, you know, a few Silver Eagles or other government issue rounds. So I just thought I'd reiterate that. I know I've said that before in other videos, but I still get questions asked ever so often. People always ask, why don't you buy the Eagles? Why don't you buy this, buy that? Just buy the cheapest silver you can find. If you go to a coin shop or something, and the cheapest thing they've got there might be some dimes. And you all know I'm a big fan of the dimes. You can buy dimes, quarters, halves, any of the 90% if you can get it cheap enough. Or just buy whatever you can close to spot. Get as close to spot as possible every time you buy. You'll be a lot happier in the end because you can look back and say wow I paid less premium put your cost average down and like I said when the day comes to sell the industry is not going to care what's on it they don't care if it's got a frog a goat a sil you know it's a silver eagle Canadian maple they don't care it's all going to get melted so they can make their products you know whatever the company makes car windshield plywood whatever so just remember that buy your cheapest forms of silver you can buy I don't care what it is. If I had the choice to buy a real nice, you know, round, whatever it may be, for $2 over spot, or I can buy one that may have some scratches on it, maybe not look the best, maybe tarnished, and I can get it for a dollar over spot, I'm going to buy the cheaper one because I can accumulate more ounce weight for less money. <clears throat> so if anybody has any questions, comments, whatever, or want to debate the subject, feel free to leave me a comment, send me an inbox, or however you want to get in touch with me. And we can debate this further. I mean, as long as it's a friendly debate, you know, I don't want no big argument started or anything. But I'll do a friendly debate with anybody who wants to debate me. And one last thing, if you want to buy 90% silver, try to get your dimes. That way, in a barter situation, if we're ever out there, you know, bartering with silver... At first, they're not going to take silver rounds, and even if they did, the price of silver would be so high, you'd get a lot of fiat worthless currency back as change. Because don't kid yourself, they are not going to give you silver back as change. That'd be like them paying you to take the product. I mean, if you had a business and you were accepting silver, would you want to give somebody silver back as change knowing that Maybe the next day or two, the price could shoot up three, four, five, six dollars, whatever the case may be. No, you're going to give them back the worthless fiat currency. So just, like I said, buy your dimes if you can find them at a reasonable price. I wouldn't pay no high premium for 90% stuff. I've got all of my 90% for at or under spot. So just remember that. Buy whatever you can close to spot as possible. Pay the least amount of premium you have to. And I'll show you one last look at these Lydian Mint Lions. See if I can get that focused here. 
and there's the reverse. So if anybody you know is interested in any deals on silver or anything like that, I advise you try to stay away from eBay. They're just too expensive. So I mean I've looked on there and the prices are just outrageous. So if you want some deals, find you a good deal here and there. Go to bullionstacker.com. Like I said, I'll post a link down below. And uh, whatever you're looking for, somebody's probably got it. If you don't see a listing of something you're interested in, then post an ad saying, I'm interested in whatever you want. And somebody, I'm sure, will come through fairly quickly and you know say, well, I've got what you want. And you all can work out a deal and, you know, be two happy people making a transaction. I've never had any trouble on there. I've done about 10 transactions on there. So, and people have a rating on there like they do on eBay. You know, you can see this person's done 10 transactions, got 100% positive, and you can read the feedback, what other people have left. So it's set up like a classified ad, but the rating system looks similar to eBay. So just go check it out. If anybody has any questions about Boyan Stacker or anything else I mentioned in this video, like I said, just send me an inbox, post a comment, or however you want to do it. So, this is my short video that people's been asking for, so thanks for watching.